personal view. So I think that a um, hundred years ago or so, you know, science was the domain of, you know, the hair professor, the sort of white male old man that had all this prestige, you know, because he understood this thing that, that regular people couldn't understand, you know, science, right? And so there was this, it wasn't systematic, you know, this sort of um, feedback loop that made, that, that was purposely started, you know, that I am doing this rarefied thing, right, that you, the normal person, can't get, you know, you have to be Albert Einstein, you have to be, you know, whoever, right, and that mere mortals can't cope in this world. And that has become, made it so that people are afraid of science. They think science, they think it's too hard, and then they also have this stereotype of this old guy like, you know, why would I want to be like that? These guys were never athletes, right? And so I think that there's, that this, this, this stereotype of these boring, asocial, you know, drones, that's who becomes a scientist. I can't tell you how many times, you know, I've gone to a dinner party and, I mean, and these are learned people or anyone where they say, what do you do? And I say, oh, I'm a geneticist. And the hand comes up and they say, oh, in fourth grade, you know, my teacher and I couldn't learn science, you know, blah, 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 and I couldn't learn science from then on. If I were to say, oh, the Renaissance, <laughs> I never got the Renaissance or, oh, French literature, oh, you know, or, oh, business, businessman, oh, you know, like, I would be considered a moron. I mean, like, why is it okay for, for more, for our country or anyone to say, I can't do science? I mean, science is what gives us the life we have right now, you know, whether, and it doesn't have to be biology, just think about computer science. I mean, you know, those people are certainly text messaging, so they can do science, right? And so it's so uh, and I have to say, this is not um, particular to me. This is every scientist's nightmare dinner party, and we go to a lot of these, uh, right? And it's so odd because it would be unthinkable for me to say, I just didn't want to learn to read, right? Come on, how many heroes <laughs> do you know in science, right? You know, like, I mean, if an athlete were to walk down the street, you would instantly recognize him. My colleague, Eric Wieschaus, has a Nobel Prize, and people in Princeton don't even know who he is, right? And so I think that we don't have heroes, right? And that is new, because in the 50s, you know, and, and earlier, you know, Einstein was a hero, Salk was a hero, you know, Fleming, those were heroes. And somehow, culture has changed that it's not cool and heroic to do science. And I think that's kind of a pity, Right? And, and, and I don't think it's just movies. I think it's a much bigger thing. It's what we've been talking about, that it's, that our entire country is turned off from science at a really early age for both religious and political and educational reasons, right? And then there's no way to grapple with that in popular, you know, no, you know. The people who are going to watch this show are already self-selected, your show to be able to say, maybe I could learn something about science, right? And otherwise, they're not going to watch this.